right now I'm on my way to pick up a Triumph Spitfire. Well, not pick it up. I'm going to work on it down there and attempt to drive it home. Um, so I found it in this guy's barn right down the street from me. Um, uh, probably like two months ago, uh, I was working on uh, cleaning up some bamboo with my friend. sitting there since 1977. I think it's a 1968 Spitfire from what I've seen. Um, yeah, it's literally right down the road from me. It's right ahead. So yeah, I'm going to try fixing it up down there and then driving it home. I don't know how long it'll take to fix up. I don't even know if the, ga the gas tank's probably junk. But then again, it's been sitting in the barn for the past like 40 years or so. Um, so yeah, who knows? Let's see what it's like. Here it is. So yeah, from what I heard, I think it's a 1968, possibly. I'll check the VIN and anything else. But yeah, it looks like there's a coat of primer put on most of the car. Um, like you can see right here on the windshield washer things, there's still tape over them tape there um look i think that's yeah that's some rust coming through that primer um you know last inspected october 31st 1977 this is all dry rotted so that'll be replaced there's a bunch of animal tracks climbing up the hood um this is gonna be my first uh first look at exploring everything in it so you're seeing it at the same time I do. Apparently these are Mark IV Spitfire doors and this is a Mark III. But then I open up the trunk and there's the original doors inside of it. With the That's the same original color and everything so that's pretty cool. I'll probably paint it the original color, the red. But yeah, there's a... There's the odometer. Wait, the, it has tape over top of it. Huh. Um, but yeah, there's a dashboard. Like wood, that's very cool. Steering wheel, obviously. There's a seat here, it's a little bit torn up. And there's the other one, it looks to be in better condition. Um, I don't know how to open up this door since it doesn't have door handles. So, yeah. Um... You have a gas tank. Push that, pops open. It's a little dirty. I can't see in it right now. I'll check with my flashlight and see how bad it is. There's some screws and stuff under there. It's probably for some of the trim. Um, yeah, there's. Wow, that's really dark. I don't know why that won't change the lighting thing. I got my flashlight. So, yeah, the original soft top. Um, yeah, the seat. Uh, manual shifter. This tiny, tiny rear view mirror. Um, that's, yeah, you can't see it, but let me find something. I don't know if you can see, yeah, there's my phone compared to it. That's really tiny. But yeah, it looks like everything, all the original things should be in here. Um, just a bunch of random trim pieces and all, all that stuff. So let's look through it. Okay, so I'm going to open up the hood. Check it out. Get my flashlight again. 
Okay, so yeah, this engine is really tiny. This is my f my phone compared to it. It's like a size of two phones. I like how I use a phone as a unit of measurement. But yeah, there's a battery. Which, yeah, my battery that I have should work in it. Hopefully. Um, yeah, there's not too much interesting stuff down here. Um, it appears to be really solid. Um, it surface rust on the shocks and stuff, but obviously that's to be expected. Um, since I'm using my phone as a unit of measurement, this is the size of the tire compared to my phone. It's really skinny. It's pretty much a go-kart. Um, yeah, there's just some information about it. Let's go over to this side. Really tight back here with that wood on the ground. Apparently the brakes are seized. Um, so that'll be really fun to get unseized. That looks pretty clean. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. Lucas voltage regulator. Um, some type of fluid, maybe windshield washer fluid there. Not sure. Probably is. That's kind of cool how it's in just like a little plastic bottle, like a water bottle. Yeah, let's start exploring the stuff inside of it. Yeah, it's like 20 degrees out today, so it's very, very cold. Um, oh, I think I found the VIN number. I don't know, just the paint coat and stuff, it doesn't tell the VIN number on it. Um, yeah, it's blocked by that, I don't feel like moving the tripod. But yeah, I'm gonna take everything out of it that I find, and I'm gonna set it onto this table here, or the smaller stuff set it onto this table and check it out. First of all, there's a bumper. I think that's a front bumper. Maybe a back, I have no idea. This is my first time seeing one of these cars. A bag with miscellaneous stuff. We're gonna take a closer look at everything. Once I get it all done, we'll put it in, um, put it in the shot there. I have no idea if I'm in frame right now. Let me see. Maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. That should be better. Okay. Cardboard box. I have no idea what that is. Hubcaps. The box is really falling apart with no bottom to it. Not sure what this is. I'm kind of happy that I found this in winter so I don't have lots of bugs and stuff crawling all over me and have to worry about bees and snakes and all that stuff. Trim piece. Weather stripping. That's trash. Antenna. I didn't think they had radios. So, maybe some of the stuff from another car, I have no idea. Um, I don't 
know what that is. Some type of valve it looks like. I have no idea. I'm glad this person organizes stuff. Um, ooh, windshield wipers and stuff, they look really shiny and new. Headlight and turn signal. Another piece of leather stripping. Another fender? No, that's a um, bumper guard thing. Okay, another bumper. This might be the whole back bumper. Not sure. Mouse nest. Oh, the mouse chewed through the wires or whatever's in here. Okay, another turn signal assembly. the brake light and all the back lights. And a box of um, stuff for the inside. More weather stripping stuff. box. Might be some random nuts and bolts at the bottom of that, so I'm not going to dump it out. I'm not sure how I can open up this door. There it is. Belt thing. No, no, some type of lever. It looks pretty solid. I don't see any rust holes or anything. Just turns. Um, and there's no bin number up here. What's that? There's an ashtray in the dashboard. This thing is so tiny. It's, it has no e-brake. Here are all the trim pieces. Um, they go along the hood, I think. Hood in the back. It's kind of dark in here, sorry about that. The bottom part of the other seat. Top and sliding mechanism. Okay, I almost tripped and stepped on a whole box of parts. That wouldn't have been good. Here's a soft top thing. Um, I don't want to break that. I don't know how it goes up. Um, another trim piece. Yeah, here's a soft top. That's honestly probably trash. Um, oh, it did. It looks like it had the aftermarket radio installed because I don't think it came with the radio, but there's a speaker. There's a speaker under there. I found an antenna. Um, not sure. Oh, this, like, this probably goes right there. I don't think these are the right seats. They don't fit in here. Or do they go like way up there? 
Not sure. Feels pretty hard. Clutch. Clutch is good. Oh, my dad's eating pizza tonight. This is like eyesight or eye level to me. Like, I don't know how I'll ride in here with a roof on. 22,000 miles. There's a key, but a lot of the wiring's all messed up, so I don't know what that all goes to, or if it'll start. But, we'll have to see. Let's see, does it go into the gears? I think. It doesn't feel like it's going fully into gear. sure the shift order but this is first if up to the left at first it's not going in fully that's fully in third no I think it's a uh, three speed it's no like it's no gas in here there's a gas tank I have any gas in it let me see if it's first through first of all it looks pretty solid from under here. I'm gonna go look in the hole. Oh yeah, that's pretty cruddy. But it it's pretty cruddy, but it could be reused. Now let's check out the trunk. It smells like urine back here. Probably like a squirrel hibernating in here. I don't know how this locks into place. There's definitely an animal living in here. It really smells like. Here's a door, and I think the window just fell inside of it. The inside of that door really smelled like animal. Oh yeah, that's a pretty big squirrel or uh, some type of nest. Probably a rat nest. Next one is why there's Mark IV doors on it. What even happened here? Oh, that's just a solid rust hole. There's a big dent right here. A big dent here. The door handle doesn't even, even work. Oh, I guess they'll pull it, but yeah. That door is really messed up. I don't feel as bad about almost scratching it. But yeah, it's a very big, pretty big animal nest. I wonder if anything's in it. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's just. Spare tire hold down thing. But yeah, there's like no rust in here at all. Which I'm in Pennsylvania, so you know that's pretty rare. Oh, that's not even hooked in. <laughs> a 
Okay, this camera stopped recording. I don't know how much it missed. But I opened up the trunk. It really smelled like animal urine. Um, I took the two uh, correct doors out of it. And then this one is really mangled up. There's a big dent down at the bottom. Big rust hole there at the top. Um, a big mark right there. So, yeah, that door's junk. The other one seems to be in decent shape. Um, probably just going to leave these doors on it r right now. Even though it probably won't work for with the top that it has. Um, yeah, the trunk's solid. Um, yeah. I don't really know what else to say about it. And I don't know how long it wasn't recording for. My hands are getting numb, it's so cold out.